Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Oshi Kurosu. Welcome back for another vlog, guys. Uh, today, got a lot of stuff to cover. Got a lot of stuff to cover and uh, feeling kind of really chill. I feel like I've actually kind of looked forward to this vlog for a really long time, so I don't know, I guess we'll just talk about it. By the way, guys, stay tuned to the end of the video, or towards the end of the video, because I'm going to start talking about uh, the, my studio setup. I know I've got a lot of you guys have been asking me, what's your studio setup, how you do it? You know, just stay tuned. i got some PC specs and stuff that I use, the software that I use, and how I use it. So just check it out. Let's just get the personal shit out on the table. You know, just low-key between me and you guys, I've been super stressed lately. Super stressed. Like, my head has been in a vice. Uh, I don't want to go into too much, but I uh, just wanted to kind of put it out there. So, you know, I just want to say thank you guys all for the support. It means a lot to me, guys. It takes me... That is a... <laughs> I was listening to this guy. His name is Epic Lloyd. He does this... Anyways, uh, one of his skits, he says, This is a vehicle for happiness. It takes you from pissed off to happy. And, I mean, that's that's your guys' support. You know, that your guys' support takes me from... That is my vehicle. You know, some other things that support me in my, my personal life as well, right? Um, so thank you guys so much for that. So, yeah. That, I'm <laughs> sorry to start off so heavy. <laughs> um, okay, so let's, uh, what's next? Okay, so let, let's talk about some streaming stuff. The streaming has been really awesome lately. Um, we just got Breath of the Wild. We just did the Nintendo Switch. It's now actually part of our regular routine content. And you guys seem to be digging it. I'm I'm loving the gameplay, man. I'm, I just can't put it down. Actually, I wanted to play some more of that instead of record this, but I figured uh, I probably owe you guys a video. Going back to like the routine, trying to get one video, one offline video out uh, per day, starting like next week, get put up on boxing videos, which is not really what you guys are here for. I mean, I, I like to do it and it's my sponsor's stuff and we do that as well, but uh, we'll start the unboxing or we'll start like the, the gameplay videos again, uh, starting on Monday with Mario Maker and probably some Mario Kart. If I can find something to record on Breath of the Wild, then I'll be putting that out as well. So yeah, then going backwards. So yeah, we just started Breath of the Wild. We did some pretty epic streams this uh, just last weekend. We did two 16 hour streams and like a 12 hour stream. It was ridiculous, but I had so much fun. And actually the second night we streamed, we broke so many records, so many records. In one stream, we gained over 1,016 subscribers. I think that's what I checked it out at. We had over 1,252 concurrent viewers at one point in time. It was just absolutely earth shattering because previous to that, my record uh, concurrent viewers like 250 people. Absolutely mind blowing. So yeah, thank you all of you for that amazing support you guys are fucking incredible so i mean going forward into a content schedule uh yes yeah, so the offline content i'm gonna be trying hard to get that one a day especially while i'm not employed right now um you guys know i'm looking for work now so my medical benefits have now ceased my current benefits are currently switching over so i'm now in that active looking for work phase so if you guys got a job you know hook a brother up i could use it <laughs> uh, but yeah, content schedule going forward is going to be like uh, basically Mirror Maker. We're going to be doing Legend of Zelda. As long as you guys are interested in watching that stuff, you know, if I start to see the numbers drop too much, then maybe that's an indication that, you know, maybe it's kind of done and over with and uh, we'll stick with what's working for us and you know what the community is here for. I want to start putting some more horror gameplays on there, whether it's offline or during stream or something. I don't know what. Definitely want to get some horror game in there. I know there's a lot coming out this year. Uh, Outlast 2, Agony, Allison Road, Call of Cthulhu, Vampire. So there's some really cool games coming out, which is awesome. So yeah, I guess just to pull it all full circle, I just wanted to say thank you guys all so much, man. We're almost 10,000 subscribers. That's amazing for me because I'll actually be able to apply for our program called the Nintendo Brand Ambassador Program. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep pounding it. We're gonna keep growing. You guys are doing, you guys are killing it with, you know, sharing it around, letting your friends know. And that's what's helping us, is that is you guys are putting in the work. So there's a huge, huge thanks to you guys. Oh, well, and one more thing. I was thinking for like the 10,000 milestone to do like a live Q&A. You know, real chill like while we're just playing a random game. Do some really interactive, really focused uh, Q&A sessions. Okay guys, so um, a lot of people have been asking me kind of what my studio setup is. And just before we go into that, I just wanted to say we have made some minor improvements to the studio uh, within like the last month or so. So some of the changes that we made in the studio, I, I work, I live in a nine by nine cell. This is my life in this room here. I really love this space and it's very dear to me and it's very important for what I do for you guys. So I take very good care of it. One of the three things that we've upgraded really, really recently was we just got new lighting. I, I know I've talked about it a bunch and, uh, but it is there. The new lighting is there, uh, it, which has made huge gains towards the, the, con the, the quality of the content we're able to put out. The second most recent upgrade we did is you're looking at it right now. Well, you kind of, I'm looking at it right now. We upgraded our webcam from the Logitech C920 to the uh, Logitech Brio, which was actually just released here in Canada. So it makes a big difference because the webcam now captures a full 60 
a full 60 FPS range of motion. You guys get that? You guys? A full 60 FPS range of motion. I'm just doing that to illustrate the 60 FPS. <laughs> at 1080p. I heard it can do 90 FPS at 720, which I haven't pushed it to yet. And finally, which I'm gonna be showing some pictures on the computer screen, or I may have already put the pictures up, but we actually got some insulation, some acoustic insulation. I've done about half of the studio. You guys will see in the pictures that I'm probably showing off right now. Um, and I have the other half yet to do. Big differences, quality differences, always making it and always trying to improve it for you guys. That's the creed of the show is every day, make some form of improvement. Okay, so yeah, let's go into my PC specs and the stuff that I use for the stuff that I do. I mean, I'm not a PC hardware guru. I don't know a whole lot about this stuff, but I mean, I'm sure you guys wanna know like basically the the guts of the PC. Uh, so I use, I guess, so I'll just start with like, so for storage, I use a 500, solid, a 500 gigabyte solid, solid state drive as my main drive. I have a 250 solid state uh, backup drive that I use for all of my content. It's, it's, it's like a storage area. It's what I use for storage. You know, all my PSDs, all my layouts, all my documents, all my assets, you know, uh, thumbnails and stuff, all get stored on the, the spare drive. I'm using eight gigs of DDR3 RAM. I don't know what the brand name is. I don't know what the the the, the clock the clock of it is, or it's, it's eight gigs of DDR3 RAM. I guess like the next thing that I, I guess the only like really important thing that um, I've got pictures of it all there, but um, I'm using a GeForce 680 graphics card. Yeah. <laughs> Which I had checked on the internet. I think it says it's a four gigabytes of uh, GPU memories. That's about it for the PC. I mean, I got a television for a monitor. It's a, it's a big TV. It's probably like, I don't know. It's this big, you know, does that help? <laughs> I have a second monitor, which I use um, during live streaming. So obviously main content goes on the television, sub content goes on this con uh, screen here. So that's where I use my, I monitor my my OBS. I monitor my, my live stream chat. I think that's it that I monitor on this screen here. So, I oh, PC hardware. Yeah, I'm using a Razer Taipan mouse and a Razer Black Widow keyboard. Am I missing anything else? Oh, my microphone, yes. I have a, a Rode boom arm and a Rode dead kitten microphone wind filter. And I'm also using the Blue Yeti Pro microphone. And I use a pair of Sennheiser earbuds that I monitor through the Blue Yeti. All my audio drivers are gone through my Blue Yeti. I don't know why, but I get to hear myself through this in my ears. And that's kind of important for what I do so I can uh, monitor how I'm doing for you guys. I also talked about it in the studio. We have acoustic padding around the walls. It's two inch thick acoustic foam. Nothing fancy about it. I just bought it in bulk. And then of course for the lighting in the studio, we have two soft boxes, um, which I just picked up off Amazon. It's a soft box. Got four light bulbs in each one. And they both position, one positions towards me directly. This one here positions more on the green screen to keep a constant quality. And the green screen itself is actually just a piece of fabric, but it's a huge sheet and it goes across probably about five feet on this wall and about four feet on that wall. I think I bought about nine feet of it, something like that. Uh, it's four foot tall. So that's why uh, in my videos, all this below, I can't, uh, can't fix that, sorry. I actually might drop that green screen down a bit um, now that I'm looking at it because we have about this much space on top of my head that we can cut out and add it down here. But I think the most important thing with your green screen is it doesn't matter what you use as long as you keep that as tight as possible. Like you can see a little bit of dipping uh, up in here as it goes through, but uh, like I'm using thumbtacks and I pin it into my wall and I basically just tried to keep it as tight as I possibly could. That way when the light bounces off it, it casts less shadow. Seems to be working for me so far. Uh, so for gaming consoles uh, that we stream with in the studio here, I have a PS4, I have a Nintendo Wii U, I now have a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, those are the three consoles that we use. I guess it's like not really PC hardware, but it's just related hardware, is I have a Nikon D7100 camera that I use for shooting um, everything. All the pictures that you guys are looking at, basically every picture I take for like the sponsor videos for like, um, you know, like when I get my ripped apparel shirts and I take a picture, um, those are all done with my camera. Super stock, just whatever came with it. And then I guess a lot of people ask me about software that I use on my computer. So like I use OBS, open broadcast software, it's free. I ain't paying for XSplit uh, when OBS does a great fucking job already. I use Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. That's what I'm recording my voice in right now. You know, it's proven super valuable. 
really, really awesome. For video editing and, and graphic editing, I use Adobe Suite. So I use Adobe Photoshop for all my graphic stuff, all my graphic design. Uh, I use Adobe Premiere Pro for all my video editing. So yeah, that's it guys. This vlog is actually a, quite a bit longer than my other ones. I'm so sorry. I feel like it's really hard to maintain audience after about five minutes of just looking at a fucking ugly face so but yeah guys thank you so much you got your uh you got your kind of studio tour ish and you also got to hear about some more of my personal shit and uh <laughs> and i'm so sorry for the heavy beginning you know i just always try and smile man it's all about being positive and it's about making the best of whatever you can make out of it i think so so thanks for that guys and thank you all for the support just going forward man i'm glad i got to do this other vlog i get to put another video for you guys and hopefully starting on Monday, we'll be able to get into some regular more content. So with the Switch coming up, I do have plans to do lots of other cool stuff. Mario Odyssey as it comes out. I'm probably going to pick up Splatoon 2. You know, uh, I think it was a fun game. I just don't own on my Wii U right now. So get ready for that, maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. Stay positive. Stay happy. Stay healthy. I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. Take care. That's it. Bye-bye.